Welcome back fellow fighters, we got the Halloween Tower, a new store update, and new rewards for the Towers of Time. And by the way, two things, one, you're looking good, and two, I got this Mortal Kombat light. I'm glad you're here, get comfortable, and let's begin. Let's see if Mortal Kombat 1 hooked up the shop this week, shall we? This time I'm the big one, and Mortal Kombat 1's the small one. Yeah, how you like that, MK1? How you like that? All right, let's see what we got. How can I make this size where it's like... I really should do that no green screen filter. Here, we'll do it like that. That gives it a little more... Fine, I'll be the bigger person and give Mortal Kombat the space. All right, we're really getting repeats now. So we got Sombrero Scorpion again, UMK3 Sub-Zero. And don't get me wrong, I love this Molina. I know most of you know that. Her price is 500, by the way. All right, guys, look. I actually have... Look, I have a green screen. I've just never set it up. And apparently my graphics card can run without a green screen too. But do you guys think I should? It sucks because I just bought that new Mortal Kombat sign so you won't see it anymore if I use it. At the same time, it's kind of hard to put myself in the box in Mortal Kombat 1 and not cover up stuff, you know? Well, you know what? I'm just glad you guys accept me, so I'm going to stick with the box until you guys say otherwise, alright? I'm going to cruise over here. Now, genuinely speaking, for me, uh, these are all repeats, nothing to get all hyped over. However, if you don't have these skins, these are really good skins. We got UMK3 Cybot, uh, Dark Raiden, which I got most of the stuff for, Sombrero Sub-Zero's back. We got the movie Reptile. This is one of my favorite Molinas. Earthrealm Molina and Deception Molina are my favorite. If you don't have this and you can hold off on it, it shows up in the shrine. I don't know if it will next season, but in previous seasons, it does. And my god, do they need to bring this price down. I mean, every other skin. 500 dragon crystals now and that's been the ongoing theme since season three four except for the first couple seasons they just really haven't budged on reducing the prices for these first bundles that is except for this melina they brought her down to 500 hopefully they'll do it for the rest too also i'm available for a thousand dragon crystals right here see you can even rotate me Last but not least in the shop is Sindel's announcer. I think it's a great one. Personally, I don't have it, but I would like to have it. Now that's all for the premium store. Let's head out of here. Also, if you play Towers of Time, check out your rewards. This is my favorite one, which is the Wuxi Raiden, and I threw the MKX Evil Raiden hat on him. Starting today, we also have new rewards for Towers of Time. Just like the last two times, this one's going to take two weeks to complete. And also, don't forget, right behind me and above this box, there is the Halloween Tower. That started yesterday. You can get Smoke Skin. I'll show you that in just a moment. Let me go over these rewards you can get in the next two weeks. It's very easy to get in the top 50%. In fact, if you do maybe just two towers, if that, and I'm talking about like the easy and medium ones, you're most likely going to participate and be in the top 50%. So if you do that, you'll get gear for Lee Mei, General Shao, and an easy 2500 seasonal dragon crystals, or er, seasonal coins. Dragon crystals would be nice though, but yeah, it's seasonal coins. Now if you do make it in the top 25%, you can get this Tanya skin. I'm really not a fan of these Tanya skins. However, for this skin specifically, it is nice to see this color go with it because that's Tanya's skin color. The other ones available for this skin just feel kind of out of place for me. But yeah, maybe this one will look decent once it's in gameplay. Now the next one is one I'm definitely going to be after. This is Smoke at the top 10%. But the only reason I'm collecting this skin is because it's a skin for Smoke. And I collect all of Smoke's skins. So I definitely will be unlocking it. But it does look like a watered down version of the Combat League skin that I have here. For those that don't have this skin and with Invasions resetting. I think Combat League may also reset as well. But that hasn't been confirmed yet. If it does, this skin comes from Season 3 for anyone else that's trying to get it. Also, the Halloween Tower yesterday gave this as a reward this is another smoke skin and honestly it's one of my favorite this is a 10 out of 10 smoke skin for me i'm really glad i got it i know some people were upset because these weren't designated halloween skins but the way that this does look i really enjoy the detail i've played this on some darker stages like shang Tsung's lab and how dark smoke looks there looks incredible. I'm just choosing it real quick with both of the palettes. And this is both palettes for the skin. I think it looks really good. There we go. And sitting at the top 5% is a Havoc reward that I think is going to look really good. Yeah, it is his base skin, but it seems to be glowing from the shoulder. 
I think that's gonna look really good, especially with this Chaos Rain helmet. Now, it's also worth mentioning, I did make a video covering the Halloween towers that were coming. That video is two weeks old now, but everything in it is correct. These are the skins you're gonna get in the Halloween towers. In that video, I also do go into a little bit more detail in sharing the other palettes for each skin that you can receive. And in addition to that, I also graded them on which ones I liked the best, which ones I thought were the worst, and the ones in between. Halloween's one of my favorite seasons, so I'm really happy they're bringing the Halloween tower. Also, they are bringing callback cards for Halloween 2, but for those who don't know which characters are getting Halloween skins this year, it's Johnny Cage, Lee May, Smoke, Reiko, and Melina. I also want to share, for those that don't know as well, that Invasions is resetting at the end of this one. That was the last video I made. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I go into detail into that as well. So that gives us eight seasons of Mesa bosses, and now we're going to go into repeat mode, starting with Scorpion again next season. And I'm bringing this up now because I'm curious if any of you collect skins for your favorite character. I got this smoke skin in season two, not to be mistaken for this one, but this one here, and I really like it. And as a smoke player, I've yet to see another smoke player with this specific palette. I earned this in season three and there's one that looks like this but it doesn't look as good as this one in my opinion. And with that being said, I'm not sure if the seasonal tower and combat league are both going to reset and coincide with invasion seasons. Also, even if you don't main smoke and you have the skin, let me know in the comments. With that being said as well, Raiden was the last Wuxi skin we could have got unless they're going to reset the seasonal tower as well, which means we'll have to wait a little bit because now for the seasonal tower skins, we have Kung Lao, Johnny Cage, Kenshi, and lastly Raiden. And for a moment there, I thought they were going to make one for Ashra because she does wear one in her ending. I thought that would have been really cool. I still think it'll be really cool if they decide to make her one. Another thing I want to mention because I haven't yet on this channel is addressing the legacy tower that it says you're going to get past skins and palettes. And I know most people know this, but I don't think everyone does. It is true, you are going to get older palettes, but these palettes are palettes that existed in the game that weren't available to us from the start. So a great deal of these palettes that people are getting now are actually new skins, but they were just never released. I do find that to be interesting, and I would like to cover the Legacy Tower more. It is crazy that some people have completed it. That's a lot of crowns, and there's over 300 pallets in it. And in addition to that, to think that many people have played since Season 1, and have collected a lot of skins and pallets since then, and on top of those, are now getting these additional pallets. So, with the next invasions coming up, I'm interested how the layouts are going to work on the mesas, and how the rewards are going to work as well. As most of you know, I've been talking about Ermac for a bit, He's got two skins in the file. We don't have him yet. Aside from the shop, they gotta show up somehow. And I'm totally cool with it if they do make him a Titan boss. As long as it's not extremely difficult because I really would like to have some good Ermac skins. It definitely is a grind to make these videos. Your guys' support does help. I can never say it enough. I do appreciate your likes and subscribe if you do enjoy. I am gonna try to go live tonight. I'll see if I have enough time. Also, today is Tuesday. This coming weekend, I still plan on doing a live stream. We're gonna watch the Mortal Kombat 9 story from Star start to finish. I have been playing a lot of King of the Hill live, but now I am also going to be taking time to look at other things Mortal Kombat related live, hanging out with you guys. As always, if you do want to play against me live, they're friendly matches. Your skill level doesn't matter. It's all in good fun. No toxic players. I'm still going to say it again anyway. Thank you for your support, everyone. Much love. Have a good night, and I'll see you all soon.